Uh, so the Leviathan project is quite an ambitious multi-year project which is trying to imagine the current problems of today and what our world might look like in 20 to 50 years from now. And this project is traveling all over the world collecting stories um, and stories from scientists, uh, activists, researchers, writers to try and understand the historical roots of globalization, of migration, and of the sea, and how the sea is both where we come from and yet something we can ignore. We often don't look beneath the surface, so that, those are a lot of the uh, inspirations driving the project. So the Fortuny paintings uh, were first presented at, uh, during the Venice Biennale last year and what really interested me in doing a project in Venice was that it have a relationship to the history of Venice itself and Fortuny uh, actually was a Catalan immigrant to Venice and he created his factory there in, at the very beginning of the 20th century but what was very interesting about what he did was he used Venice's position almost as a midpoint between various cultures to use in his fabrics patterns from North Africa, the Middle East and from Europe and combine them in a very rich archive of kind of history and migration contained in those fabrics. So they were a beautiful source material to start working with and then each of the Fortuny paintings these beautiful rich fabrics shows actually these very important and yet impoverished objects that are recovered from the seabed and they are artifacts, possessions belonging to migrants who have lost their lives trying to make the crossing from North Africa to Sicily. So it's this beautiful and disturbing work which really for me illustrates the contradiction of our times, you know, and how do we resolve this idea of our own humanity to and our humanity in relation to others and four is the most recent, so this is actually the world premiere here in uh, Seoul, and Jamila takes place in North Africa. So interestingly, we read a lot in the news about refugee boats traveling from North Africa to Sicily, and a lot of them, uh, you know, capsizing or sinking, and a lot of uh, loss of life, and some of the painful political results this has caused, and breakdowns in civil society, and I think it's one of the key issues of our day, because it's not just speaking about, I think the refugee crisis permeates so many other ways we think about ethics, society, empathy, and for me this, uh, this new film, it's interesting because you have these characters who arrive in North Africa and actually they're attacked by the locals who in turn are attacked by another set of arrivals. And so for me it's trying to look at something about the fundamental violence that is maybe rooted in our early DNA you know, as hunter-gatherers, that fear of the other. And how do we reverse that? Because if we don't reverse that, we will go back to a more basic, inward-looking approach to society. The painting is the first in a new series uh, of works coming out of the Leviathan Project. They imagine future scenes for future films. So interestingly, as I've been traveling around the world and researching and meeting people, I've started to become haunted by certain images that I would love to film for future episodes uh, of the Leviathan Cycle. And in a way, painting for me is always a form of note-taking. It's always a form of trying to capture something and distill something that might also find its way into the films. This new sculpture on becoming virtual octopi actually relates to Terence McKenna's theories. He was a very interesting and radical thinker who felt that human evolution, as we know it, had reached its limit, uh, or the limits of the monkey brain. And he felt that the next stage in human consciousness was to actually move towards the octopus brain because it's the, the eyes of the octopus are prisms, so they see multiple refracted images at once. So in a way, their field of vision is much more fragmented and they are seeing multiple realities simultaneously, which in a way, you know, if we talk about transcendence or higher consciousness in Buddhism and other forms of spiritual spirituality, it is this idea that how do we reach higher consciousness?